just start coming out right out At of the first nose. glance, the yarn here is quite ordinary, but together with a traditional people-powered loom and a handful of patient students, it becomes much more. It's social yarn, it's therapeutic yarn, and it's worked with passion. It may seem unusual to see such enthusiasm pulling these strings, but here at the Nanaimo Travelers Lodge, these residents are coping with dementia, and Sayori weaving is adding a touch more color to their days. The Sayori weaving can be, um, I guess, really therapeutic. There's all the, the touches, like the textures, um, colors, so it's, it's not difficult to learn. Uh, sometimes, like you just like the repetition of the steps is really helpful. <laughs> And um, you push a pedal, you put the, the boat through the, through the threads, and then you pull a bar. It sounds simple enough, but creating with a loom is a significant challenge when dealing with functional memory loss and dementia. It's actually the death of, of certain parts of the brain that affects different things for our uh, seniors. There are some parts that have memory loss, short-term memory loss. We have cognitive disabilities. It is sometimes a little bit of a challenge, um, sort of walking them through the steps because there's a lot of repetition of the steps. Now put the boat through here. This loom was sitting inactive before Sarah came forward to teach Sayori weaving, and like many volunteers, her role at the lodge began with a casual invite. But as much as she loves the craft, it's the people that keep her coming back. When she first found that machine, she found something that she wanted to do. And she does a good job. And we love her. A lot of the ladies absolutely love coming here. There's a couple regulars. There's one lady who is absolutely over the moon to come do it. And here she is right now. It's Margot. She is so excited to do the weaving. Make a picture from both of us, please. Mm -hmm. They either recognize me and they'll give me a hug. And um, I like that. But I also like seeing like their sense of accomplishment. And now what you do is you switch your feet. So from you general to weaving off. to a finished scarf, no, that sense of accomplishment comes a bit easier with the freeform nature of the craft. There's no way to make a mistake in sari weaving. That's part of the whole theory behind it. Um, mm -hmm. is that uh, it's, it's what some people might see as flaws are really sort of the, the character. That flexibility adds to the positive experience here. Thank you. Yeah, see? <laughs> An experience the residents and, and caregivers would love yeah, to see so more of. We have many residents who have a variety of interests and our volunteers can offer that variety. If you have a skill to share or would like more information on the lodge, visit www.nanaimotravelerslodge.com. In Nanaimo, I'm Derek Johnstone.